Hey guys, this was a problem in another video and I didn't go through the solution in that video because I left it open to you to have a go at yourself and I asked you to post your answers in the comments. So uh, congratulations to Tran, Nat and Ishmael who did get the correct answer to this problem. And so I'm going to go through this one now. If you didn't see this problem in the other video and you want to have a go yourself, pause the video now and see if you can come up with a solution. Um, but the problem says, there are six blue sweets in a bag, there are n red sweets in the same bag. There are more than 10 sweets in the bag. Fred takes a sweet out of the bag and eats it. He takes another sweet out and eats it. The probability of eating one blue sweet and one red sweet is a half. How many red sweets are there? Uh, so what you want to do is to create an equation out of this problem and solve that equation. And that begins by saying the total number of sweets is going to be the blue sweets plus the red sweets, which is uh, n plus six. And then you can say, well, the probability of eating a blue sweet first will be six out of the total, which is n plus six. Uh, and uh, the probability of eating a red sweet second, well, that will be n because we still have n red sweets, but now we only have five blue sweets. So the total of the sweets will be n plus five and we can multiply them together to find the probability of getting those two things. Or we could pick a red sweet first and then a blue sweet. So I need to add on the probability of picking a red sweet first, which will be n out of n plus six, multiplied by six out of n plus five. And all of that equals a half. Uh, so that's the equation you need to start with. So this is the probability of picking a blue sweet then a red sweet, or I could have a red sweet and then a blue sweet. Uh, so we can go ahead and solve this now. Uh, so if we combine these two fractions, we get 6n over n plus 6 times n plus 5, plus 6n over the same thing, n plus 6 over n plus 5, and all of that equals a half. And then we can combine these fractions because they have the same denominator. So this is going to be 6n plus 6n, which is 12n. And let's expand these brackets. So these brackets are going to be, well, both sets of brackets are going to be n squared plus 11n plus 30. And as I said, because we have the same denominator, that, that just stays the same. And this equals a half. So... Let's keep simplifying this so we can cross multiply. So we can multiply this side by two and uh, multiply this side by the denominator. So this comes over here and this comes up here. So we get 12n times two, that's 24n equals uh, n squared plus 11n plus 30. And then simplify further. So subtract that 24n from this side so that's going to be zero equals n squared minus now 11 minus 24, that's minus 13n plus 30. Um, so I'll just switch it around so I have the quadratic on the left-hand side. So n squared minus 13n plus 30 equals zero. And then I need to factorize this. So what are two factors of 30 that makes minus 13? Well, 30 could be three times 10 and uh, minus three, minus 10, that will make minus 13. So I can factorize this into n minus three and n minus 10 equals zero. So according to this quadratic, n could equal three or n could equal 10. Now go back to the question and it says there are more than 10 sweets in the bag. So n cannot equal three because that would only give me nine sweets. So n must equal 10. And the question says, how many red sweets are there? Well, the number of red sweets equals 10. So again, congratulations to Tran, Nat, and Ismail. Well done. And uh, I hope you found that question interesting. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.